Okay, so we're here with Robert at AE Modular. Hi, great. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you, Robert. So yeah, what have, what have AE Modular brought to the show? What have you got at Superbooth this year? Yeah, um, one thing I want to mention, what we are really proud of is that our collection of modules is now over 100 different modules. It's really amazing. Uh, the development went so well and uh, there was so much inspiration from the people so we are now over 100 modules. Well done, congratulations. That's a milestone, isn't it? And another point that is, that it is really great for us that more and more other companies or developers are making modules in our format. We think it's, it's a great thing. Uh, I, I don't have to uh, talk a lot about this. This is the Töpfer way, how things are going. And I'm happy that for us it's, it's going in the same direction. To create Excellent. an infrastructure that is really growing and expanding, yeah. Excellent, excellent. And so what are the, some of the new modules? Tell us about some of the new modules that you've got. Yes, what I'm happy about is that we have the RAINS, which is a 100% clone of Mutable Instruments RINGS, and the Cirrus is a clone of Mutable Instruments CLOUDS. So we have this ambient classic duo rings into clouds now also in our format. Cool. Another module which is still in the making, here is the prototype, I can plug in the power, is a sample player module that plays samples directly from a micro SD card. You can load your 8-bit WAV files onto it and set loop points, have different loop options, crossfade, a very basic sample player, but in a modular format and as usual with a modular at a quite low price. Great, great. So we, so, so we fill this gap also. This was still a gap that we don't offer something for sample playback, but now we, we have it. It will be released in, a, I think, in a few weeks. Great, and what file formats does it take? WAV, is it WAV files? Uh, a standard 8-bit WAV format. You can create it quite easily with Audacity or any other audio software. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Great. And load Fantastic. it onto the card. Excellent. What also, a, for me, a very important new product development is, is this new case. You know, uh, all our products are targeted toward minimum costs. So our usual cases are made of laser cut acrylics and MDF board, which is the most cheap method, but it has its drawbacks. And as the overall quality of A modular is growing, uh, we need an, also a better case. And this is a development not from me, but from Tom's from Kua, who also makes this module. It's a super high quality aluminum case, which is sturdy, which can be extended. You can add as much rows as you like at different angles. And what's a really cool feature is that you can remove the modules on the fly without any screws. Wow, that's so helpful, this is uh, this, this, this brings A modular for me on a completely new level. Mm. Not a good, I suppose it's not a good idea to do that while it's switched on. No problem. Turn it off. No problem. No problem. Really? No, no. Wow. Okay. This is this is not a computer. These are simple analog circuits. Mostly, it's no oh, no problem. Oh wow. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. You have some a very colourful module there too. Yeah. This is an Euclidean sequencer. Tom's has developed. It's it was his first module, and it's a really amazing thing. Good stuff. Yeah. It seems you've you've got these angle pieces on to um to give give yes. the. the uh, some shape. What's, uh, well, you, you can come over here. Mm -hmm. What's really cool, these parts that connect the, the single cases also make the, uh, the, the connection of the power via this uh, spring contacts. So if you put another connector here to add the next case, then it uh, gets its power supply directly via this. It's super elegant. Perfect. That's yeah, a great solution. Yeah. Two-in-one solution. Yeah. 
and maybe what we haven't seen last year are the micro modules. Mm -hmm. This is a line of modules, it's a third of the height of our usual modules, which offer simpler functionalities that don't need so much knobs. For example, a sub-octave uh, module or a distortion, a bit crusher, a tenuverter, and the line will continue. And it's also that you can swap the modules on the fly and can reconfigure your system as you, as you need it. Incredible. Incredible. Such a wealth of modules compared to last year. So much more happening now. Yeah, it, it has happened really a lot and th that makes me totally happy. I, it's, it's really not only my work, it's, it's the community that brings this system so much forward. And where can, peop where can people find that community online if they want to join? It's forum at aemodular.com or you cool. can find it via our website if you are looking for Tangible Waves, our website, there are the links to the, to the forum. Excellent. Great, thank you so much. Yeah, really appreciate it. You're welcome. It. Thanks a lot.